know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. <laughs> Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Yeah, but where's my... Where did my map go? How come I can't see anything? Mini map? Sales are on. I guess we'll see, turn the minimap on and see if that does it. I've heard Louis oh. could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. Time to go to Canada. General Wolf will give that Craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. I like this guy. When his money's all gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack Johnson down. Come along, come along. Oh, there's a big shiny thing over there. When Jack is worn and weather beat, too old to cruise well, some stuff. Could be valuable cargo. Mm. Oh, Bells call soon. Then I'll raise hands high and loud he'll cry. Thank Christ, I'm more cold like this. When his money's all gone, it's the same. Uh, I don't care for the money, really. Oh, there's a big ship around the corner. Is that where we're going? There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Okay. Man of war. Fully up. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. That's a big old ship. On wind. Don't don't let me run it. Oh, okay. There we go. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Why? Thank you, Good sir. To see you again, Captain. Captain Shay Cormac. Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a Captain Cook stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As but where's see, Captain Crunch? Fleet is on its way to the real question. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack, obviously we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then ditto, ditto. You take the wheel, Captain Cormac. I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real, uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Well, dude's just gonna let us drive his ship. Gets a fancy new car and lets someone else drive it. Crazy. Oh, jeez.
Follow your British allies. Wolf, Lawrence, and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself. Back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Okay. Oh, that ship is super ominous in the background. Oh, jeez. They hit us, sir. Enemy ahead. They're hit. Damn it. We cannot let any through. It is imperative we stop those ships. Sir. It's the a outcome of the war may depend on it. Navy vessel. You've got use of your own mortar ship. It will prove crucial if you are to succeed. Steer right the water. Huh? Oh my god. Oh, and I'm running into a guy. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Ready those mortars, Shay. Ready to fire, sir. Fire! How do you like the water? Huh? Okay, don't sink the British ships. Avoid fire! 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 Oh, we did it. It was not that difficult with a man of war, turns out. Oh no. It's Adewale, I think. Oh shit. Trick ships. Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. Adewale. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those We're fire right ships. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Awaiting orders, sir. Fire. We need more fire ships. Oh my God. Okay. Ready to fire, Captain. Fire. Oh man. Fire! That's got the water. How do you like the water? Fire! On your mark, Captain. More enemy ships, sir. And more fire ships. This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. Foreign wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Already we sighted, sir. They are foundering! They are foundering! Fire! 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 Come on, French fleet. Ready those mortars, Shay. Hold 
Oh, slow mo. Jeez. There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out. Yes. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Oh. Is very serious. How did I take no damage from the fire ships? That was not that good. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. And now we're just back on our He's tiny ship. Man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to their core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop too, though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Gist, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime. Don't fuck with me, French boat. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old son do it. Let me tell you. Another time, Gist. Hi, sir. Well, it seems there was a great demand for sailing. For the colonies, for Fresco and for France. Well, a ship that pulled the limey burnt the hot spur. And got legless drunk on my advance. Paddy lay back. Paddy lay back. Take in your sack. Banana, 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 banana. Banana, 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 banana. Wait, where are we going? Wait, where are we? Oh shit, we didn't turn the right way. Oh, but we can fast travel. That's cool. That's cool. Close down! Catch some wood! Is that it for our Canadian adventures? Crowded all on! River Valley. Let's go. Oh, this little place. Okay. Crowd on every inch of sail. <clears throat> Loose capsules, Pardon me. Rails. Don't run into the island. I guess we don't actually have to do this sailing either. We can probably fast travel to where we're going, considering it's so fucking far. 
Maybe we can fast travel somewhere closer? Uh, supply camp, nope. We can fast travel there. It's close-ish. Close-ish. Right, we got that grenade launcher the last time we played. Uh, that's the front of the ship. Oh, I wonder if we have any new... Do we have any new outfits? Swords and dagger sets. Ooh. Let's equip those katanas. Katanas? Katanas. Oh, we can afford the raider outfit. Should save up for the sharpshooter one though. Ooh, Versailles. Unlocked by completing the game? Whoa, that's cool armor. Native Pillars quest. Oh! Templar 11th century unlocked by completing the Templar maps quest. Templar enforcer. Where did all these outfits come from? Assassin Interceptions, Viking Armor, Templar Master, Admiral, Must Be Crafted, Hunter, Whaler, Frontiersman. And then we just got the, uh, Ubisoft Club outfits. That's pretty cool. Options, HUD, Hell, Minimap, Puppeteer, Tutorials. I wonder what, was the Puppeteer one the... Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Let's move. Floating cargo for the taking, sir. Studs out. Let's get moving. Okay, we're gonna go around this island and then directly north. Oh wait, no. These are sticks. Get the maid free. Let's go north from here. Yeah, because we have to go north of here and then around to the Fort Blanc hard. Hard Fort Blanc. Well, this is that fort that we did the attack on. It's really difficult to see. Flux 
momentum, sir. Could be valuable cargo. It could be. Oh, turn. It's a tiny little corridor. I know I've said this before, but the... Their attempt to make parts of this game feel like Black Flag, which was such a highly critically acclaimed game, kind of fall flat when you're stuck doing little corridors like this. Part of the magic was the big open gameplay. What do you want me to do about it? The wind suck. Oh, what the fuck? Some cargo from a wreck over here, sir. I don't think to get the fire. Just went to snow, and now I can't see shit. No, don't do it. Oh. Wait, what? We're going into restricted area? But why? Oh my god, are we going somewhere we've already been? I could just fast travel there the whole time. Damn it. What a waste. Alright. Gist, what are you doing, bud? Just bouncing up and down in the ship? Okay, now. Wait, where am I supposed to go for this mission? Am I supposed to go into my... Nothing in there. Hmm. Do I have to like pull into the dock in order to trigger something? Captain has the wheel. Okay. I'm confused. Oh good. Another loading screen. <sighs> okay, we're did it really send us back to the very entrance? Wait, what? So we didn't have to go this way the whole fucking time. Hmm. 
Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're doing that all over again. Here we go. Starting again. As we were fishing off Hayes for all I shooting and hauling and trolling or not in that windy old weather. Guess nobody's gonna give us a copyright claim on these weird old sea shanties. Turn the mini map back on. Oh, sunshine. We're heading hard for land, sir. No, we're not. Calm down. Let me do the ship stuff. You just stand there and do your thing. I don't want to fight the tower. Ah. Here's where I want to be. Oh my god, is this mission going to be go attack that tower? Just cut to a cutscene. It's a bit of a harsh cut. <laughs> Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. Godspeed? Good sir. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Just throws the apple overboard. Let out some sail! Forget all the nutritional value. Spread our wings to the wind. Blue sails, let's catch the wind. Wait, where's the fort? Foul weather there, Captain. Was oh, that a man of war? Saints for service. What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. She'll be nearly impossible to maneuver. 
Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. All right. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. 